Hi, I'm Dr. Tim McHenry of the Stedman Hawkins Clinic of the Carolinas. 80% of the population have a significant episode of low back pain during their lives. The majority of people with low back pain have resolution within days to weeks and ultimately return to their previous level of function. A common cause of low back pain in these individuals is degenerative changes or wear and tear similar to patients with knee arthritis having pain from walking or running. Other causes of back pain that are not as common are spinal infection, cancer, or fracture, as well as non-spine conditions, such as conditions in the blood vessels or abdominal and gynecological conditions. These conditions are less common and are usually accompanied by other symptoms and physical findings. Back pain that is associated with significant leg pain and or leg numbness or weakness may indicate that there is a problem with the nerves in the low back. These conditions often require further evaluation by advanced imaging studies such as an MRI scan. Most people with these symptoms get better within weeks of the onset of their symptoms. A small percentage of people who have continued symptoms may benefit from treatment such as injections or surgery. There are many options for the treatment of back conditions resulting from injury or long-term wear and tear. Your physician will recommend an initial course of treatment that may include physical therapy, manipulation, medications, or injections. These treatments have been shown to be the most effective treatment for people's back pain. Other methods of treatment may also be considered depending on your response to these initial methods of treatment. How you do certain activities, such as getting in and out of your car or tying your shoes, may increase the pain you are having or re-injure your back after you have gotten better. After your symptoms get better, a regular back conditioning program will decrease the likelihood that you will have significant back pain in the future. These exercises, as well as non-impact aerobic conditioning performed on a regular basis several times a week, are essential components of long-term health maintenance. Other important choices are maintaining good nutrition, weight loss if you are overweight, and smoking cessation. The low back or lumbar spine is comprised of vertebral bodies with intervertebral discs in between, which you can see here. A pair of joints called facet joints contribute to spinal motion at each level, and here you can see a pair of facet joints at that level, one on each side. As the disc and facet joints age from wear and tear, they may cause pain with activities similar to the pain from other joints such as knees and shoulders that results from arthritis. If the changes in these structures, such as a disc herniation you see here, that result from the wear and tear cause pressure on the nerve, so if this disc herniation presses on that nerve there, it may cause pain in the distribution of that nerve down the leg and or numbness or weakness. Patients with back pain from the wear and tear in the low back usually have increased pain with activity. Most of these patients are best treated by establishing a regular spine strengthening program that is done consistently on a long-term basis. This program does not reverse the degenerative changes, but it does increase the ability of the body to compensate for these changes and maintain good function over the long term. It does require dedication to a regular routine of exercises and is much like brushing your teeth daily. A few days off can cause a significant decrease in the overall health of your back. Disc herniation, or as it is sometimes called, a ruptured disc or pinched nerve, may cause significant leg pain and or numbness or weakness. Non-surgical treatments such as physical therapy and activity modification usually results in resolution of these symptoms early on. Persistent symptoms after four to six weeks may benefit from more invasive treatment such as injections or surgery depending on the severity of the symptoms and other findings. Loss of bladder control is a rare occurrence with disc herniation. If it occurs, you should go to the emergency room for immediate evaluation. Lumbar stenosis usually results from arthritic changes in the spine that cause compression of nearby nerves. Back pain, buttocks pain, and pain down the back of the thigh may result and worsen with standing. Sitting often lessens or alleviates the pain, depending on the amount of compression Depression, injections may temporarily alleviate the symptoms and the duration of relief is variable from a few hours to several months. Ultimately, effective treatment involves decompression of the nerve by surgery, although over time the compression may return. 
Recurrence after surgery, if it occurs, usually takes several months. Short-term bed rest may help with getting over the worst symptoms of back pain. After a couple of days, however, it works against patients by decreasing their core strength and conditioning. Progressive return to normal function after the first few days is the best course of action and involves modifying your activities to avoid irritating or re-injuring your back and also starting a program to increase the fitness level of your back. Your physical therapist will work with you on this. Physical therapy to establish and maintain core strength and flexibility greatly benefits most patients with low back conditions. Both medications and injections may help by decreasing your symptoms while your therapy program is established and starts to work for you. Medications such as anti-inflammatory pain medications may help, and a short-term treatment with muscle relaxants for up to five days may benefit you. Pain medications such as narcotic pain medications are discouraged in the short term due to dependency and tolerance problems. Long-term use of these medications requires regular follow-up with a single provider and needs to be coordinated through either your primary care provider or a pain management specialist. Injections such as epidural steroid injections may be useful from either a diagnostic or treatment standpoint. Other injections such as hip injections may also be useful in determining the source of your pain or in treating your pain. The treatment of your low back pain condition requires the coordination and communication between everyone on your treatment team. It is important that you understand the treatment plan of these providers and that you actively participate in your own recovery. After you are better, it is important that you engage in a regular fitness program and make important choices such as quitting smoking, having good nutrition, and controlling your weight. A critical component of the treatment in patients with low back pain is the establishment of a long-term conditioning program to increase and maintain core conditioning. This is best done by working with your physical therapist who can tailor a program specifically to your needs and who can ensure that the exercises are done correctly.